we'll guide you through how to add plugins to a Minecraft hosting provider. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. What you need to do is head to your Minecraft server hosting provider and a big shout out to Apex Hosting for sponsoring this video. So if you're yet to go and get your Minecraft server, then definitely come and check out Apex. They've got so many awesome features like 24 seven servers and support. So you can get assistance from experienced server admins whenever you need it, DDoS protection, one click install mod packs. And also at the moment you can get 25% off your first invoice, which is super good. So if you're yet to get your server, then come and get yours from Apex. But this guide will be as broad as possible so that you can use other server hosting providers as well. So firstly, we need to get to our server panel. To do that on Apex, you go to the top right and click on panel and you'll need to go and sign into your account. The account details would have been sent to your email if you're using Apex. And then what I need to do is click and go to my server just here. And now we're on our server. And so there are two different ways you can go and add plugins to your server. The first way I'll show you is by using the FTP file access. So this will apply to if you're using a server on a different uh, host as well. And then secondly, I'll show you Apex's own way of adding plugins to the server as well. Now, before we get any further, we need to make sure we can actually go and use plugins on our server. So we need to make sure we're either using paper or spigot. So come down here, click on game file, and you can then choose paper or spigot. And if you're using a different server hosting provider, it'll be a slightly different place, but it's the same concept. You need to be using either paper or spigot. There are a few others, but they're the main ones. Now we've got two different ways we can go and add plugins to our server. So the most general way is going to be using FTP file access. This is just by adding the plugins to our files on the server. And you can go and follow this if you're using a different hosting provider as well. And if you're using Apex as well as me, then what we can do is go and use Apex's own plugin adder. Um, super easy to do, but we'll start off using the FTP file access. But first of all, we need to go and have a plugin to go and add. So go and open up a new tab and then you want to go to a website called CurseForge. This is where I get my plugins from and go to curseforge.com. Then go and click on Minecraft and under categories, click on it. And you want to go and click on bucket plugins, just like so. Now we've got so many different to choose from here. If you've got something in mind, you can go and search for it or you can just go and browse through here. As you can see, there's quite a few to go and choose from. So in this example here, I'll just go and get mine packs. So let me go and click on it and then head to files. And what you just need to do is you need to note the game version this is compatible for. So as you can see here, this is for 1.20.2. If I come back to the server, I can check the version we're running 1.20.2. That's fine. So you may need to go and adjust your game file for the plugin you want, or you can just go and get a different version of the plugin, but you may need to change one of those. So to go and download this, you just head over to the right and click on the three dots and click on download file. And hopefully it will go and start only a few seconds to go. And after it's downloaded, it'll be downloaded to your computer. So now I've gone and got the plugin. What I'm going to do is head over to the left and go and click on FTP file access. And so if you're using a different server host, all you need to do is go to your files on the server. In your files, you then need to go and locate plugins, which is just here in this folder and wait for it to load. And next, you just need to go and locate the upload button. So in my case here, it's on the left. It may be different for you on a different host though. So I'll click on upload. And then what we can do is click on add files and we can go and find the file or the plugin we just downloaded. Here it is just here. So I'll go and click on open and you can then go and see the progress on the left hand side and it's now finished. And then it will go and say uploaded and we can go and press on back in the top left like so and it should now be added here. And then what you want to do is just come back again and just go back to the hosting page. And what you'll need to do is go and restart your server, just like so, so the plugin is then gone and installed. And of course, make sure you understand how the plugin works as well. So if I scroll down here, we can go and read about it. So we can go and see the commands here and how we can go and use it. So my server has now started. So let's head into Minecraft and join the server. And just like that, I've now joined the server. And as you can see, I now have this backpack option. So then I can right click on it and I can start going and adding things to my backpack. It's super cool. And there are so many other plugins out there which you can go and check out and you can go and see what you like to go and use. So now I want to go into the next method, but that is if you're using Apex, your own server, host, server hosting provider may have its own way of adding plugins as well. So go and see if there is one as that is a super easy way to do it. 
So let's head back to my browser now. And what we can do is on the left here is go and click on plugin list. And then you can see all these different available plugins. So you can browse through here and go and see if there's anything that sort of takes your fancy. As you can see, there's a huge list. Um, and you can also go and go through the different categories here as well, which is useful if you're looking for something specific. I've now found a plugin which I want to go and get, which is this one here called the Advanced Spy Inventory. So I can go and click on it. And then all I need to do is head over to the right and go and click install. Also, I can go and get this because my server is running 1.20.2 and this plugin is for 1.20.2 as well. So I'll go and click install and it's now gone and added it. So it's far easier than having to go and download it and then re-upload it again into the FTP file access, which is why I sort of prefer this method. And then we can click on the back button in the top left and the back button again. And then you can go and restart your server just to make sure the plugin is properly installed, just like so. So just wait for it to go and restart. And then what we can do is go and join it. I've now gone and joined the server and the plugin I used is so you can go and see players ender chest and inventory. So what I'm gonna do is go and place an item in the ender chest. And then the command I can use is slash ender chest like so. And I can then type in the name of the player I want to go and look in. So I could type in mine just like so. And I can then press enter and I can then go and view it just like that. And it's that simple. I can also check out their inventory as well. Um, and this is my own one, so I sort of know what I already have. But yeah, a super cool plugin, especially if you're playing with a lot of players.